You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Mark Roper with your WMAR 2 News update. West Baltimore's water is now safe to drink and use without boiling it. Baltimore City officials lifted the boil water advisory Friday morning. They say the latest round of tests at the one spot that had been testing positive, the police station on Mount Street, came back negative. City officials say before consuming any tap water, though, to flush your pipes for 15 minutes. Water handouts will continue today and tomorrow only at one site, and that's at Harlem Park Elementary Middle School on Lafayette Avenue. It's open from noon until 8 o'clock tonight and tomorrow. The cause of the original E. coli contamination is still being looked into. Officials say a possible source is a 30-inch main in the Ashburton neighborhood. A student faces charges after they were caught with a gun outside of a school in Baltimore City. School officials say they found the gun outside Connections Academy at Bard High School. School police say the student was taken into custody without incident. Baltimore City Public Schools administrators say they encourage all students to say something if they think one of their classmates has a weapon on them. A curfew for young people starts tonight in Prince George's County. This comes after several shootings over the weekend involving youth. County Executive Angela Also Brooks says children 17 and under must be home between 10 o'clock at night and 5 o'clock in the morning on weekdays and 11.59 at night and 5 in the morning on weekends unless they are with an adult. On Saturday, a 15-year-old was killed and three teens were injured in two separate shootings. Parents and guardians will be given warnings and notified if their kids are out past curfew. They also will be fined $50 for the first offense, $100 for the second offense, and $250 for following offenses. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Looking at today, we're going to continue to see plenty of sunshine still holding on as we continue to the afternoon. Look at that comfortable temperatures hanging around those 80s for us and overall this weekend we're going to still see the 80s still hanging around for quite a few areas and also seeing the humidity return for us as we head into parts of Saturday by Sunday rain showers do make their way back in temperatures do cool down a bit and that's actually going to follow us as we head in towards the weekend looking at our seven day forecast continuing to see a few more showers still hanging around for us besides Monday but then Tuesday and Wednesday, we start to dry on out with temperatures still hanging in the 80s for us. Stay with WMAR2news.com for updates throughout the day and for news and weather while you're on the go. Download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Roper.